Welcome back to Citizen Channel. Today we will solve the SQL injection uh, lab from Portis Wigger. So it will be like a little bit different, but this lab uh, I will talk a little bit about SQL injection right now. So SQL injection attack consists of injection of a SQL query uh, via the input data. And that includes parameters, headers, and other details that found in the request. Okay, that's from the client to the application. So in this lab, we will use burp suite to capture the request, which means to notice where is the flow. And after that, we will using SQL map, uh, which is a tool that used to automate the SQL injection process. So let's start right now. So I enter the application right here. Let's explore what we can find. But before that, let's uh, do the bare process stuff. So if I went here, it will capture the request. Oh, sure. Okay. Uh, I will put intercept off. Okay. Like we got parameter. Uh -huh. We have parameter here called product ID. So let's complete. Here we have like, I don't know, category. Here also we have uh, parameter, yeah. Okay. So we have two parameters in the request. And if we if the request contain contains parameter, it's high probability that it will uh, like uh, vulnerable to SQL injection uh, attack. So let's try here admin admin. Sure, it is parameter also. Yeah, we have like two parameters. But I want to save every request that contains parameter. So I want to save this item. I want to param1. Okay. <clears throat> Here is the second item. Param2. And here is the third, third, third parameter. Param3. And here the last one. Param so we capture all the requests that contains parameters and right now I will uh, text them no text I will test them with the with the, with the SQL map so let's go now let's go to SQL map here yeah. Here I SQL map in Python, so I will use Python 3 SQL map dot Python uh, R to capture the file or to use the log file param one and database. I want to use also uh, the option patch to make it autom uh, to make it full automatically. So it will not ask me like. Do you want to use this word list to, for example, guessing the name of the database? So every question it asks, uh, it asks me, the answer will be always yes or no. It's like by default, default answers, yeah. Let's complete. I want to test the another one uh, directly. So I want to go to SQL map. Uh, okay, Python. Param two database and here batch the same. Okay, we have error. I have error. Ah, yeah. I forget the dash r here to take the file. So okay, let it start. Here no result. I think it's does not seem to be injectable. So this parameter is not injectable. Let's go to the third one. So this one. Yeah. 
three, but I forget also the dash R. Okay, and uh, database to enumerate the databases and here batch. Okay. Okay, we okay here. It says that the parameter is injectable, so it's vulnerable to SQL injection attack. And here the query that it uses the payload. So it's uh, vulnerable to union query. How did I know? Because here is information category is union query null and injectable. Yeah, the payload it used. It's here. So it used category and from that union null, blah, 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 until here. And SQL map, what did it like tested for a Boolean based blind? It's also another kind of uh, SQL injection. Uh, stack the queries, time based blind, and the last one, union query. So we can also in SQL map get into the database so if i want like database public and here uh, dump all batch i will get every detail in the public database but it's not the goal for the lab the goal for the lab is to uh, use the SQL query and put it in the URL or in the request and send it to the web application and to make the notification that the lab is uh, solved triggered. Okay, so I want to go here and paste the query that the SQL map used and after that I will change the characters here I will make them null. Take it copy here, uh, no, strike one, okay, and enter. And okay, we solved the lab. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. So, see you in another content. See you.